what is going on guys it is a fine fine super fine day here in southwest pa i am actually lost i don't know where i'm at which is okay um but today we are going to be talking about that's actually kind of cool we are going to be talking about tires uh specifically bridgestone battle axe t32s what are these tires and who are these tires for now i am going to do a very in-depth video on these tires coming up very shortly well i don't can't say that because i don't know when but uh, it's going to be super in-depth way more in-depth than it needs to be uh what's the sign say uh salzburg i don't know what that is salty that's where all the haters live and uh, so, but this this video is um, just kind of a quick overview of these tires and what I think about them and who I think these tires are for. So, first off, these are a touring tire and they are also an all-weather, all-terrain tire. So, that being said, they have specific characteristics uh, of those tires. The first one, the all-terrain, or not necessarily all-terrain, wet weather tires so these tires are very heavily grooved um they are uh, it says eight i don't know if that's eight millimeter i mean my kidney stone was two millimeter so yeah i guess that could yeah yeah that could make sense maybe it is eight millimeter but um the, I, what it is with these tires it's the the girth of the tread that uh generates this uh concept or this uh problem if you will and that is that the tires kind of feel knobby now they don't necessarily feel knobby all the time they they kind of only feel knobby whenever the tires are cold but whenever you get going on it it, it does seem like that dampens now if you have a 650 or you know about the 650 they are prone to a um they are prone to vibrations right it's a parallel twin and they are prone to vibrations that's washington i'm just trying to figure out where i'm at because i really have no idea where i'm at and um it's prone to vibrations so that coupled with these tires in the beginning of the ride it can feel a little knobby now this is also going from two different kinds of tires the stock tires on here were dunlop something and they were a lot smoother like they 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 had the tread depth but they didn't have that tread girth i don't know what the, the proper terminology for the width of the tread let me know if you know what it is uh oh here's a sign do i know where i'm at now and uh so the the oem tires on here definitely felt smoother than these tires now i'm okay with that because i bought these tires i have no idea where the hell i'm at uh these these tires well, i lost my train of thought no don't lose it uh north on 66 i know what 66 is is that the way i want to go uh, I, I I don't know. Shit. Oh well. All roads lead home or to Rome. Uh, I guess they lead home if you live in Rome. I don't know where I'm at. Anyways, but that's what I got the tires for. You know, I, I don't mind the knobbiness because I got them for all terrain I or for wet driving conditions. The other thing with these tires is they feel harder and they're definitely harder because these are touring tires touring tires are going to be made of a stronger more durable compound and to make that happen they got to be a little bit more um a little bit more hard so the fronts have a uh, silica compound silica sio2 yes it's the same stuff that's in earth's crust you smart banana and it's 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 a material that is very good for adhesive and molecular uh what's the word molecular inter molecular interthermal i think that's the word molecular interthermal conductivity i can't remember i think that's the word though 
pretty much basically what happens is as the tire gets warm, uh, the properties of the tire become more adhesive because they become more plastic. Uh, plasticity is the ability for something to go back to its original shape after deformation. If you have gum and you pull it all apart, it doesn't go back. It has low plasticity. If you have a rubber band, you pull it back and you snap it back, it goes back into its original shape. It has high plasticity. So tires do the same thing, or these tires anyways do the same thing with that silica, that compound. The rears have a silica compound EX. I'm assuming that's like for extra. And it's a harder compound. And that makes sense, right? Because the rears generally wear out more than the fronts which would then uh, need a, a stronger compound to make that work. So with that all being said, you know, the, the tires feel a little bit more knobby and they do feel a little bit more hard. With all that being said, again, uh, it, it all depends on if, you know, I get into the idea of who are these tires for. It really depends on what kind of rider you're trying to be you know if you're the kind of person if you're the kind of person that really wants to get a lot of longevity out of your tires <coughs> sorry for coughing in your face uh if you're the kind of person that wants to get a lot of longevity damn i'm all the way out in apollo then these tires might be for you if you also want to be in wet riding conditions or you you plan on riding in wet riding conditions and you really put the miles on in your bike i'm in armstrong county where the fuck am i damn i'm like way out there guys it's kind of cool but i also kind of have stuff to do um then yeah I, I would say that these tires are good for you now I'm, I'm actually going to try and turn around. Now, if you are the kind of person that that you don't necessarily want to ride in those kind of conditions, or you know you don't really put too too many miles on your bike, then it might be a bit overkill, and you would sacrifice um, a smoother ride. You know, the alternative to these tires specifically are the Bridgestone Battle Axe T31s. These are T32s. They make a T31 which doesn't have that crazy of depth. Now, it's not uh, designed for, you know, um, water as much as it is more of just a sports tire, you know. And that's kind of like what these... Uh, the OEM tires were. They were kind of like a sports tire. And, you know, again, if, if that's the kind of riding you want to do, which, again, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm, you know, don't think that I think that there's anything wrong with that. I'm going to turn here and then hopefully find my way home because I don't know where I'm at. I'm lost. Uh, and what I say? I got distracted. Uh, I suck at this vlog stuff. Um,. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, no, we'll go down here. We'll go down here. Um, uh, da, 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 da. I suck. Man, they don't want anybody pooping in there. They said no pooping here. You, you shan't. You shan't poop here. Uh, sorry, I'm being silly because I also have a bunch of sugar in me and uh, it's getting crazy. But, what was I saying? Oh no, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, but, you know, I don't know, I forget, so I'm just going to wing it again. If uh, if that's the kind of person you want to, you know, you, you are where you don't really plan on riding in super, super wet conditions, or you don't ride too, too much, oh yeah, that's what I was talking about, then it might be a bit much for you, you know? And there's other options. On the other side, if this is your kind of tire and you do run, don't mind riding in the rain and you put miles on your bike, then um, you, there is also the other option of Michelin uh, Road 6s, which is actually the tire that I originally wanted to get 
but I I didn't get because they out of stock them. But you know, and the thing I noticed with those tires is the tread's not as girthy, so you probably get, and they're more expensive, so that's probably what you're paying for. You're probably getting for as good, if not better, um, uh, water displacement plus a smoother ride. So, you know, it, it, it all depends on what kind of rider you want to be. If, if, you know, if you think about it, you, you really got to match. Ooh, you really got to match the the shoes to the sport, right? You're not going to be, you know, wearing dress shoes whenever you're going to run a marathon. Likewise, you're not going to want to wear tennis shoes whenever you're, you know, running around in the woods. Yeah, you can, but you're not going to be getting the optimal uh traction or just the optimal performance if you were to get a good pair of hiking boots so to speak so just kind of cater have that uh have that in the back of your head you know what kind of rider am i doing am i and what am i trying to do i like the tires i don't mind that they feel knobby i don't mind that they feel hard i feel comfortable in the rain i've ridden in the heavy rain and i was completely fine I was riding kind of how I normally ride now, if I'm being honest, and I felt super comfortable. Lower gear, Matt, geez, a whiz. And I felt super comfortable. I had no issues. The only other weird thing that I noticed about the tires is because they're so deeply um, grooved and wide that I noticed that they like to pick up rocks. And sometimes I can hear them hit the back of the bike but more importantly, I can see them flinging them at other cars ahead of me, which is kind of funny. And they probably deserved it. But no, I'm kidding. Nobody deserves a rock thrown at them. Well, that's actually not entirely true. But it's that's the only other weird thing that I noticed about them, you know. But the tires are absolutely great. Like, I can't wait to do the in-depth review of them. Because, I mean, it gets, it gets pretty crazy. Like, for, you know, a little sneak peek you know the front of these tires have what's called a 5lc a five layer compound where the hardest compound is in the middle for stability and durability right because this is where you need the most stability right uh, linear straight stability and it's where you're riding the most of the time so it's where you want to have the hardest material to prevent um for durability Likewise, you have a softer compound on the on the sides of the tire that behave more plasticky, plasticity, plasticky, whatever, and that adhesive coefficient goes up, so they become more sticky whenever uh, for for cornering and also for acceleration. That's that's um, that's another part of it. So like you know, yeah, they're sticky whenever you're into the turn but they also allow you to accelerate out of the turn because that's that's what racing is right because there's still a sports tire and uh the outer outer layer is uh, even more adhesive compound and that's for like banking that's like when you're like dragging knee and getting real crazy with it the rears have a 3lc they have the harder harder compound in the middle and they have the the shoulder compound that's you know more adhesive and all that and there's a give and take you know the more adhesive it is the more it behaves like a, like a plastic material where it rebounds it's softer so it wears away faster that's why like tires like um what are those called diablos that's why you only get like three thousand four thousand miles out of those things because they are so soft because they're engineered for grippiness like that's what they're for i hope i'm going the right way um i went up that way i know this for sure uh another gear matt geez love freaking wheeze okay greensburg 20 miles i went 20 fucking miles away where am i going with my life and um yeah i don't know are we recording we're even recording we are is it is it like an hour long um but yeah, I guess we'll uh, we'll end the video here shortly, as soon as I can get out of here and stuff like that. But you know, that's uh, that's generally my uh, 
my opinion with the tires, I do like them. I would buy them again. Uh, I would. I do want to try Road 6. I, I definitely want to try those Road 6. They look good. I'm just kind of mad that I can't find a lot of data on them like I did with these ones. Uh, Bridgestone's website, man, they give you all the analytics of everything. They give you all kinds of graphics and reports and everything. I love it. But I couldn't find that much for, um, for Michelin. So I kind of wanted to do a, a compare and contrast in the other video I'm going to do. But, you know, whatever. I'm not too mad about it. But, yeah, again, you know. Sorry, I know I'm repeating myself. And now I'll, I'll just got to end the video. I like the tires. I think these tires are for somebody who wants to really get out there. If they do touring style. If they put miles on their bike, if they ride in the rain, if they want ride in any kind of harsher condition, for sure. If you don't, then, you know, again, the Battle X T31 is another option. Or any other more sport tire would be probably more of your thing. Because, again, you're going you're gonna to get a little bit of roughness to these tires. And, you know, that's personally what I want. I want something that, that lasts and I, I want something that grips. So, if that's not the kind of riding you do, then there's another tire in the market for you. But thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope that this was of some use. I kind of feel like it wasn't. But if it was and I helped you out, consider helping me out by dropping me a like and sharing the content. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell if you're interested in this idea because I'm going to be dropping another video about these tires, again, specifically, really in depth. So if you're still interested in something like that and you want to see even more in detail about these tires, go ahead and do all that and we'll get you going. I'm not entirely sure when. I'm hoping within a couple of weeks. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe again. And I will see you guys in the next one.